Okay, so now we're going to make another script. This script um, is, I call it a widget script. That's what I'm going to name it. Uh, so I'm going to create a new JavaScript and call it widget script. Now why a widget? Because it all comes down to making widgets. And widgets are controlled by something. So control widget. That's like just crazy logic into understanding what a widget is, I guess. So here's widget, and what we need is a variable. And what this variable does, it says it, it's a speed thing, okay? So how about that we do this? Uh, variable uh, speed for uh, change. And I can't use speed. You know, speed was uh, a built-in variable that I couldn't use because it turned orange. So I'm going to have to use speed for change. And this is going to be an integer. And cased off like that. So speed for change. Now, if I just save this, let's just save it for a second. And I'll show you the difference between variables, hopefully. Um, here I have my armor with no smooth and here is my widget script and I'm going to click and drag my widget script and it says you're losing prefab is that important uh, that's fine by me you can lose that prefab but this is what I was going to show you speed for change okay now notice this one I'm able to type something in so I'm always able to type something like okay it's going to rotate at five okay and what's five well, five is going to be not at a frame rate. It's going to be at a, it's called delta time. And delta time's like real lifetime. Okay. And frame rate's based upon speed of your machine. So we don't want it to do that because if we did uh, something with non delta time, it would, let's say, Joe, who has a fast computer, the thing would be whizzing around on the internet when he looks at it. Uh, and then Sally, who has a Commodore 64 hooked up, jacked onto the internet, it would hardly rotate at all. But that's the, another statement. So that's that's why this variable needs to be here. Not to get too nerdy, but it's just there. And we can adjust that. And later on, we can maybe build a slider that adjusts this. Ooh, wouldn't that be cool? Variable speed, yes. All right, now, uh, let's see my widget script. And then edit that okay and also if you double click your control script you can have both scripts going so I got my widget and my control why because I need to steal variables from control here in a little bit okay remember back in control we had static variable trigger go and it's a static variable so it can pass between two scripts Okay, so now what we're going to do is make uh, a small variable here. Okay, and these variables don't, you can't adjust these. These are at the mercy of the actual machine. So amount to move equals, okay. Speed for change, okay. And if we wanted to get really wrapped up in naming conventions. I do want to capitalize speed for change. Okay, just it's one of those things. I don't want you to get in bad habits of coding like I almost did. And then I'm going to times that by a new thing that I'm going to sh talk about is time delta time. And I talked about that being in relation to the speed of the machine or real life speed. Okay. So this is real life speed. Okay, now I have that. That's exactly what I need right now. So let's see what happens first. Let's do it without a trigger. Let's say um, by automatic, I have something transform. Period rotate. Okay. And I'm going to rotate it zero. And this is my x axis. So 
no rotating on the x-axis. Next, what, well, what do I want to actually, how do I want to rotate this? So I want to rotate it upon something else. I want to rotate it upon um, a certain speed. So I'm going to actually need another variable here pretty soon. And no, I'm going to use the other one. Sorry. So speed for change. Okay, speed for ta change times time delta time. And that would be my Y. So do I want it to spin on Z? No. So I put just like that. Very simple little script. Okay, it's not coded into the buttons yet. So what, what's going to happen here is I'm going to save this out and cross your fingers and I'll hit play. And you should just automatically start, start turning. And let's see what's going on here. So in my armor no smooth, I have speed for change at zero. So there you go. Speed for change, I'm going to put five. And there, he automatically starts turning. Very easy. All right, now that we got our widget script made, let's marry the widget script to the other script using an if statement. And then that should be about it. So. All right, that's in the next video.